Okay, I just ate dinner, so so forgive my enthusiasm if it's a little not as if I'm not ex excited for any issues coming. Anything to accept? Anything that seems exciting, like Bruce Wayne. Turn Bruce Wayne number two. All right. Well, oddly enough, now Bruce Wayne's adventure through time takes him to Gotham during when the Pilgrims came. So he's pretty much li He's become sort of a witch hunter, and apparently. His ancestor, uh, Nathaniel Wayne, I believe, was apparently a witch, a very serious witch hunter who accused everyone, almost anyone, of being a witch. However, uh, this issue is still pretty exciting as, for some odd reason, he ha Bruce Wayne has to fight a dragon now. So, in the end, it's kind of like, here, let me show you. In the end, it's kind of like out of Pirates of the Caribbean to where Jack Sparrow just sees the Kraken and just runs towards it. It's kind of like that. And oddly enough, though, the place... It's revealed that the cave that he w he landed in from the caveman era is actually the original cave of the Bat People, and they're in Colonial Gotham. So he's pretty much staying at the same place, essentially, at Gotham, but he's just going through different eras there. So, he's not really changing from the same place, but just through time. Again, so, you know, just thought that I'd relay that. Um, the artwork, though, uh, well, Bruce was drawn, the way Bruce's story was told, it was okay, but for the Time Masters and stuff, they were kind of drawn, like, pretty dull and stuff. I mean, it just didn't seem like they were involved and also the most of the Plymouth stuff is pretty cool most all the the coloring is pretty nice since it's uh, since this takes place in the fall and kind of captures that feeling so that's all I have to say about the art but still I'm enjoying Return of Bruce Wayne now he's wound up on the shore of the beach of the beach which again I assume is still ancient Gotham and he just run into Blackbeard the pirate now so, can't wait for part three, which is Pirate Batman. Oh, uh, another note. Uh, Bruce's outfit here. Um, the bat, the buckle on his hat is not shaped like a bat. Okay, he's like very similar to his ancestor that I kind of got them confused several times until they said their names. But the gloves and the cape are still pretty much the same. The only thing different is the bat, is that his hat buckle is square, not a actual bat shaped. Huh. Alright, now for next. Now for my other book, Green Lantern number 54. Atrocitus is getting used to Earth because now he's using his, he and his cat are using, his, using the rage to only attack innocent people who are guilty. And while Hal Jordan, Carol Ferris, and Sinestro are trying to remove the White Lantern, when all three of them touch it, the Lantern tells them that they need to find the other five entity. They need to find the other entities. Uh, the Predator, uh... Obfidian, Ara, Proselyth, and the Butcher. We are given some clues about where they could be, and I think the Indigo Lantern looks a lot like Starro, but... And the Sodom Yacht plot, and also some hints about what's going to happen to the characters, resurrected characters during Bla Bla Blackest Night, and apparently they need to find Atrocitus, because now he's using the blood of the current of the muggers he stopped on the subway to make a map of where the other entities are. Another thing during the hunt of the entities though, it also helps tell us that Sodom, it also helps us figure out where Sodom, also fills in the Sodom yacht plot hole. Well, Green Lantern 54 is still, Green Lantern is still an exciting read and I'm, and the real, again, the real story for Bryce Day is sort of happening here though. Right now, Green Lantern Core number forty-eight. Actually, pretty happy that I got both Green Lantern Core and Green Lantern the same week. Ganth, okay, the I'm gonna open up with a big reveal here that Ganthid apparently has turned down his position as a Guardian in general. All right, the Guardians knew he was the Blue Lantern's Guardian, but now he's turned down being a Guardian completely, so that he could be a Green Lantern and serve Sector Zero, which is where Oa is. And it's pretty cool. Apparently, 
And it's pretty and, Ga and this is really making me love Ganthet because when the guardians other guardians say they'll get they'll make him a ring, he says, No, I'll forge my own himself myself. So he goes to this goes to the blacksmith or greensmith and makes his own lantern, which is it looks an awful lot like Alan Scott's lantern. Not an awful lot, just similar because it's shaped like a box. Also, John Stewart also revealed that the Alpha Lanterns are star. Also, the Alpha um, the Alpha Lanterns are starting to collect other Green Lanterns and convert them to becoming Alpha Lanterns. And Boudica offers John Stewart's assistance in another space sector, and he f agrees to it. So, that's something for John. Something that's going to happen to John. Well, Green Lantern Corps number 48, I enjoyed. It's fun. It's fun. I And I hope Ganthet as Green Lantern does work out, because he, he, this issue really made me love the character. I mean, before, he gave Kyle his power ring, and he's always been there for the Earth Green Lanterns, telling them, you know, you gotta do this to help defeat Parallax and defeat the Sinestro Corps. Uh, it's pretty, it's gonna be pretty interesting to see him actually in the field now. Well, I guess that's all I have to say for the week. Um, Spider-Man 1991 saying, see you later. And I did post a new blog entry, so check that out. Later.